There were two cities called Sodom and Gomorrah. These cities were beautiful and filled with people, but sadly, the people there were not kind. They often did bad things and ignored God's teachings. God saw how the people of Sodom and Gomorrah were acting and knew that their hearts were far from Him. Because of this, He decided that He needed to do something to stop their wickedness. But there was one good man who lived in Sodom. His name was Lot. Lot was the nephew of Abraham, a faithful servant of God. When God told Abraham that he was going to destroy the cities, Abraham felt very concerned for Lot. He loved his nephew and didn't want him to be hurt. So Abraham prayed to God and asked, What if there are fifty righteous people in the city? Will you spare it? God answered, Yes, if I find fifty good people, I will save the city. Abraham continued to pray, and he asked God about fewer people. What if there are only forty-five? What about thirty? What if there are only ten? Each time, God replied that if he found that many good people, he would spare the city. But sadly, when the angels came to Sodom to see for themselves, they found that the city was filled with wickedness. Lot, who was very good and kind, welcomed the angels into his home. He offered them food and a place to rest. That night, the people of Sodom surrounded Lot's house and demanded that he bring out the angels. They wanted to do terrible things to them. Lot was frightened, but tried to protect the angels. He even offered his daughters to the crowd, but the angels pulled Lot back inside and said, Do not worry. We are here to help you. You must leave the city right now. The angels told Lot to take his wife and two daughters and escape to the mountains. Do not look back, they warned. Lot hurriedly gathered his family, and they ran away from Sodom. As they were escaping, Lot's wife looked back at the city, and in that moment she turned into a pillar of salt. Lot and his daughters continued to flee and finally reached a small town called Zoar, where they were safe. Then God rained down fire and brimstone on Sodom and Gomorrah. The cities were destroyed because of the wickedness of the people. But Lot and his daughters were safe because they had listened to the angels and followed God's guidance. After the destruction, Lot and his daughters started a new life in Zoar. They remembered the lessons learned from Sodom and Gomorrah, to always be kind, to listen to God, and to turn away from wrong actions. And so, Lot lived on, sharing stories of God's protection and the importance of living a good life with his family. They knew that even in difficult times, God was always there to guide and save those who trust in Him.